हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कॉन्सेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन मिस्टर एक्स हैज थ्री चिल्ड्रन द बर्थडे ऑफ द फर्स्ट चाइल्ड फॉल्स ऑन द फिफ्थ मंडे ऑफ अप्रैल दैट ऑफ द सेकंड वन फॉल्स ऑन द फिफ्थ थर्सडे ऑफ नवंबर on which day is the birthday of his third child which falls on 20th december this question is from calendar chapter asked in 2019 this question may be bit lengthy but definitely not difficult see we know the day we know the month but we don't know on which date this fifth monday falls in april similarly we know the day we know the month but we don't know on which date this fifth thursday will fall in november if we know the date here we know the date here 20th december so we can find out the number of days between these two dates since we know the day also here we can find out the day on which this 20th december falls clear right so our first goal is to find out the date of fifth monday in april now we know april has 30 days to have five mondays in april the month should start either on sunday or either on monday my friends then only we will be having five mondays if it starts on tuesday then we will be having only four mondays my friends this is same with every other day so to have five mondays the month should start on either sunday or monday my friends see 30 is equal to 4 into 7 plus 2 we have 7 days a week so every day comes four times okay minimum four times okay four times four times whereas two days will come fifth time my friends okay here sunday is coming fifth time monday is coming fifth time now see here sunday four times monday four times tuesday four times okay four times whereas two days that is monday and tuesday coming fifth time my friends this is what this means now you may ask do i need to draw this kind of calendar in examination no my friends these two days tell me what are the possibilities okay either sunday and monday or monday and tuesday then only we will be having five mondays okay here five mondays here five mondays if it is this case then monday will be 30th april the last day in the month if it is this case then monday will be 29th april the last but one day in the april so fifth monday of april has two possibilities it can be 29th april or it can be 30th april my friends now let's solve for each case now we know the day and date also using this let's find out on which date this fifth thursday of november falls now let's find out the number of days between 29th april to 31st october my friends if we know on which day this 31st october falls we can tell on which date this fifth thursday of november is now we have one day in april left okay 30th april now may has 31 days june has 30 days july has 31 august 31 september 30 october 31 total how many days 185 days okay 6 threes are 180 One 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 one. Okay, five one. So one eighty five. Now this is seven into two, fourteen. So again forty five left. Seven six is a forty two. So three days. Now see, twenty ninth April is Monday. Now seven into twenty sixth day. That is one eighty two day after this date is also Monday, my friends. See, today is Monday. On the seventh day after this Monday. you will be again having monday on the 14th day that is 7 into 2 you will be again having monday so on every multiple of 7 you will be again having monday my friends okay so 7 into 26th day that is 182 day is a monday now after monday three days okay tuesday wednesday thursday so this 31st october is a thursday my friends If thirty first October is Thursday, then seventh day after this, that is seventh November, is also Thursday. 
14th November is also Thursday. 21 November is also Thursday. 28th November is also Thursday. The next Thursday will be on 5th December, my friend. See, 1, 2, 3, 4. We are having only 4 Thursdays. Whereas, 5th Thursday of November is the second child birthday, my friends. So, if uh, 29th April is Monday, then we won't be having 5 Thursdays in November, my friends. That means, 5th Monday of April is not 29th April. As I said earlier, 5th Monday of April can be either 29th April or 30th April. When it comes to 29th April, we are not having 5 Thursdays in November, my friends. That means, it's not 29th April. Now, let's look 30th April, my friends. Now, 30th April is Monday. 5th Monday of April is 30th April, my friends. Okay. Now, 31st October will be Wednesday because earlier you had 185 days. Okay. That is 7 into 26 plus 3. Okay. Now, you will be having 184 days. Okay. That is 7 into 26 plus 2. So, 2 days after Monday, that is our Wednesday. So, 31st October is Wednesday. But we want Thursday, right? So, first Thursday will fall on, okay, November 1st, my friends, okay. Now, second Thursday will be November 8th. Third Thursday will be November 15th. Fourth Thursday, November 22nd. Fifth Thursday, November 29th. So, 29th November is Thursday. We know the day, we know the date. So, 20th December, from 29th November to 20th December, how many days you have? 21 days, my friends. Okay, 30th November and uh, 20 days in December. So, here 1 day, here 20 days, 21 days. So, 21 is 3 into 7. That means, 20th December is also Thursday, my friends. Okay, so our answer is B. See, the problem is not difficult at all. It may be slightly lengthy, my friends. Days are given. You have to find out the dates. For 5th Monday of April, you have two possibilities. Okay. Monday will fall on 29th April or 30th April. Okay. 5th Monday. When it comes to this case, you don't have 5 Thursdays in November, my friends. So, that option is eliminated. Now, you have chosen this one. Yes. In this case, you have 5 Thursdays in November. So, the 5th Thursday of November falls on 29th November, my friends. After this, you have 21 days to 20th December. So, 20th December will be Thursday, okay? Your goal is to find out the dates. Once you find out these dates, you can tell on which day this 20th December falls. Pay attention here. You can solve this problem very easily with the help of options. This is pretty funny. 5th Monday of April, okay. 5th Monday of April has uh, two choices. That is 29th April. It can be 29th April or 30th April. We know April has 30 days. Similarly, 5th Thursday of November also has two choices, my friends, okay. It can be 29th November or 30th November. See, November also has 30 days. This is the same case for every month having 30 days, my friends. If a month has 30 days, then a day will occur 5th time in that month on either 29th of that month or 30th of that month. Okay, 29th of that month or 30th of that month. Clear, right? 5th time, 5th time. The day can be anything, Sunday, Monday, okay, till Saturday. Now, let's take 5th Thursday of November is 30th November, okay. So, 30th November is a Thursday. Now, 21st day after 30th November will be again Thursday, my friends, okay. 21 is 7 into 3, right. So, that means 21st December is also Thursday. If 21st December is Thursday, then what is 20th December, my friends? It's Wednesday. Now, see. Wednesday is not there in options, okay. That means, 5th Thursday of November is not 30th November, my friends. So, 5th Thursday of November is 29th November. So, 5th Thursday of November is 29th November. After 29th November, 21st day is 
20th December my friends okay from this day to this day you have 21 days so 20th December will fall on Thursday again my friends so our answer is B let me repeat this this day has two choices this choice we have eliminated using the options my friends okay we need to have Wednesday in options but that's not there that means 5th Thursday of November is not 30th November so it is 29th November 29th November falls on Thursday 21st day after that that is 20th December so it will fall on Thursday again if we have Wednesday in options then we need to make use of this data 5th Monday of April 